Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. We are two sisters, Southern Cooking. It's Debbie Nelsie. So what is it this week? We're doing steak and potatoes. Yes! And salad and a whole bunch of other stuff. Yes. So some good old, good old American food. So yep. Hawaiian rolls. That's what we're going to make this week. And that's what we're going to do now. Now in the recipe where I write it out and everything, I will put it in there and let you know how to do it with a stand mixer. But we're doing it with a bread machine. So right now we're going to go ahead and put in... We love our bread machine. Oh yeah, the bread machine always takes the the tedious part out of it for yeah. you. So your temperature on your pineapple juice, which I just poured into our pot, it's got to be 105 degrees, and you have to put in your sugar and your yeast and your pineapple juice at 105 degrees, and then after that you start layering your ingredients in, like your butter, your salt, your vanilla and of course then you have five and a half cups of bread flour so this makes between how many was it um 24 dinner size rolls and um, if you have a little bit bigger roll you can do between 12 and 18 rolls if you make them bigger i think we're going to do dinner size rolls small small a little bit smaller what you would typically use for um a dinner roll well i am way past temperature right now which is well that's pretty because the pot was pretty <laughs> hot by the time we got around to it we were goofing around well my ADHD is kicking in this morning I'm like squirrel bright lights oh my god <laughs> and Elsie's like focus focus <laughs> so here we are Doing. We're going to put the butter in there and the vanilla in there. Now yeah. this takes vanilla into its recipe, which is just a phenomenal thought because think about the Hawaiian rolls that you get um, in the store. I mean, they're delicious. And who thought pineapple juice and vanilla would be in your rolls, for God's sake? So, but Hawaii is famous for pineapples, so that makes perfect sense to me. So this is going to mix for about an hour and a half. And then we have to take it out, make it into our rolls, and proof it for another hour and a half. So this is going to take about, depending on if you do it in your, um, if you do it in your bread maker or if you do it with your sand mixer. Sand mixer, yeah. sand mixer is four hours and change. This here is going to be about three and a half, four hours, somewhere around there. That's why we started in the morning, so we have them ready by the afternoon. So you can put in five to six cups of bread flour. So we have five and a half in here. So we're going to go ahead and just gently. Yeah, I was going to say, be careful because it's going to splatter. And pour this in here. And then we're going to put it in our bread maker under the dough cycle, which takes an hour and a half to mix. And um, it's going to, then we'll take it out and we'll proof it for another hour and a half after we make it into rolls. And then we'll put it in the oven and we'll bake it. I think it's like 20, 30 minutes, something like that. So. We'll put the recipe in there for also the stand mixer as well as the bread maker. Because I know a lot of people don't have bread machines. And if you want to do it by hand, oh my God, you're a strong person to want to do it by hand. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of like settle this down here so it's not like sticking up. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and pop that into the bread maker. And we will show you what they look like when they come out of the bread maker. It's going to be huge. Because this is going to make 24 dinner rolls mm -hmm. and you can do 12 to 18 of the <coughs> bun size but we're not doing bun size because we're not making hamburgers we are going to do this for our dinner tonight with steak and potatoes so guys we will see you when it comes out of the bread. hey y'all we are back with our hawaiian rolls Yay! they are looking good you can tell it's risen pretty good i don't think it's risen as much as we thought it was going to but 
I was a concerned actually that it was going to rise outside of our because it, it was a large quantity right. of uh, mix. But it is what it is. We're going to pour it out and we're going to divide it up and we're going to see what we get. We're going to get whether we get um, 12, 18, or 24. We're going to go for. I know you like to punch things, so. <laughs> yeah! <Woo! laughs> This is, it's, it's a very pretty dough. And you would not know that there is um, pineapple juice in it. It's really oh, hard vanilla. to, uh, yeah, yeah, it's hard to, hard to tell. So what do you think? In half, and then we'll go from there? Half, and then we'll uh, quarter it. Okay. And see how that works out. Okay. That's a nice, healthy piece of dough. Yeah, it is. That would make a nice loaf of bread. It sure would. Yep. It would make a nice okay. loaf of bread. So, make it, shoot, if we do, I'm going to do what? In thirds? I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to, actually I'm going to do this do in, in fourths, fourths, and, and then, then cut we'll, them in half, and see how we so do. So that would be eight, sixteen, we might get, that would be alright, if we got sixteen, would be fine. We'll see how that works yeah. out for us. So, yeah, I think that we are going to get some nice size out of this. Mm -hmm. The end pieces are always a little smaller. We're going to put this over by the oven, too, and proof it for about an hour and a half. So it'll be nice and risen because yeah. we need to double up the size on this here, too. So we yeah. can make it. I'll put that with that one because that's so. pretty small. Okay. And mm -hmm. you do, I think you do yours a little different than I do. I kind of roll mine under. I do. Well, you did actually kind of yeah. that way too. Yeah, I roll mine under, but I, um. All right, so if we have, if we try to do four. But I pinch mine together on the bottom. That's oh, okay. what I normally yeah, do. Yeah, I, I just kind of fold them in and that's it. If we can get four. Now, three, maybe three. I know that it always helps if you have it all the way to the edge of the pan so that they have, they go straight up instead of spread out. So what do you think, four? We might can even go in a smaller pan. I don't know, we'll see in a second. Yeah, we'll check it out. Because if, we were concerned that we weren't, we weren't gonna have enough room. That's right, so we went with a little bit bigger of a pan, but I, but we may, because we're making them smaller, we may end up with um, changing them over to a little bit smaller pan. Cause I think this pan's gonna be too big. Probably. Yeah, I think so I think we, I thought with 24, we would probably yeah. end up having the, we would have like six rows of four, but I don't know that we got a bubble. Yeah, I had one on mine too. <laughs> Does this have uh, any kind of butter going on top? Yeah, we're gonna put um, we put melted butter on top of it. Okay. We could probably put like something sweet in it too. I think I think we should do the honey butter that we I do think, on the other rolls because I, I think love that's a great idea. Oh, I love that honey butter on them rolls. That just sets that roll off. Yeah, and it just gets. The, your your rolls are almost sticky when you take them out of the pan. Right. They're so good. I tuck mine and then I kind of like get mine to sit up a little higher. So. Yeah, I think we can go to a smaller oh, pan. I definitely think so. Yeah, we probably could. Mm -hmm. All right, let me get a smaller pan. Let's use our old standby, the right. one we normally make them in. 
Alright, All right, so let's try to pick this up and just move it over. This will be a success. Okay. We lost one. Oh, that's pretty good for all things considered. Yeah, we can just readjust them. Readjust. We'll be fine. Yeah, I think this will help them rise a little higher too because of it being a little bit smaller pan. We can put them closer together. We don't want them too close, but we definitely, these smaller rolls had, you could get four on there. Yeah, I'm gonna get the fourth one right there. Right there. I'm just gonna move this one over. All right, so we're gonna put a clean linen towel over top of this, put it near the stove, and then we're gonna proof these for an hour and a half. Then we put them in the oven at, uh, I think it's like 20, 30 minutes, somewhere around there. I'll put it in the description box. And then we will uh, get it ready to get into the oven and we're gonna have some delicious Hawaiian rolls, y'all. I'm so excited. And we will see you guys when these come out of the oven in, in our next And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.